Oh, it was like a grenade. Oh no. Oh, this frame right here. Hello everyone, my name is Josh. I'm an award-winning video editor and today I'm reacting to Harry Styles' Kiwi. Let's get into it. No children or animals were harmed during the making of this film. Okay. She walked away through a cheap pack of cigarettes Hard liquor mixed with a bit of intellect And all the boys they were saying they were into it Such a pretty face on a pretty neck She's driving me crazy But I'm into it What? Uh, this is the right artist, right? <laughs> this is like a completely different style than what I'm used to from him Um... I'm freaking here for it though. This is awesome. Um, so we have this like dolly shot going in or a gimbal shot. It could be either one, but it's at a uh, kind of like a, a thigh or knee height uh, kind of style uh, or angle. And uh, that's to show the introduction of somebody coming in and something grand happening. And uh, we have a grand entrance here. <laughs> the color grade's really awesome. We have a nice steady shot focusing on these cupcakes. Um, this the outfit is freaking cool. And uh, yeah, we can see this This color grade has, uh, the, the skin tones are just beautiful. Uh, the The, shadows are all like kind of muted in the background and stuff and like uh, these overhead lights are just giving that uh, a really good backlight to kind of separate um, the children from the background uh, so like this this kid has a, like a literal spotlight behind him and so the, that could be achieved in a couple different ways they could just put a light up there or it could be actually natural it could be shot during the daytime and it looks like this is almost like a cafeteria or uh, some kind of like maybe gymnasium or something. And so usually they, they have like those uh, windows in them that could be shining. So it could be all natural. It looks sharp enough uh, to be natural. So, uh, hey, I'm here for it. This looks great. Well, I'm having your baby. It's none of your business. What this is this song about? I mean, it's a jam, but what? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. So, uh, in my experience in this industry, I have had to work a couple times with uh, kids around this age, and it is hard. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, so usually. When you when you have this storyboarded out and you know exactly which shots requires, uh, you know, this many kids of this age or, or, you know, if there's any action or talking that they have to do or anything like that, uh, you have to really, really plan every shoot around their attention span. <laughs> you you want to make sure that the moment that that kid gets there, you want to start the shoot. It, it's it's tough. There's there's a lot of logistics. So whenever all these shots that include kids, um, which I, as of now is most of them. So I mean, I'm assuming this either took multiple days um, or this was shot very quickly in one day. <laughs> but I'm I'm a huge fan of this so far. I'm I'm very curious where this is going. <laughs> I think I'm losing it. Oh, this is awesome. 
I, I did not dress like this when I was this age. No way. <laughs> um, I really want to know a backstory to this. Like, what is going on? Like, how did they get in this scenario? Or the <laughs> who put all the cakes and stuff there? Oh wait, yeah, who put all the cakes and stuff there? And then why are all the kids in here? Like, is it just like lunchtime or something? <laughs> Um, I mean, each one of these had to have been just like a camera mounted up on some sort of maybe crane. Uh, there's not a lot of movement in this shot, so it's either that or just a, a platform with a tripod on it. Could be that too. Um, but I mean, it looks good. They're using a really good lens too because this is a wide angle lens to, to capture all of this. And there's no distortion on the edges either. So they're either doing lens comp uh, compensation by just kind of punching in a little bit to get rid of that distortion on the edges, or they have a seriously good lens that has zero distortion. So, um, uh, because there are definitely out there, the lenses are out there that do not have distortion. So they could be, could be using that, but this is, this is awesome. This music is freaking, this is awesome. I love it. <laughs> it's New York, baby, always jacked up. Hey! Oh man. Oh, this would have been the dream at this age. I would have freaking I would have loved to do this. I mean, it would probably not be that that hard to convince the kids like, "Okay, now here's the shot. Uh, you're just going to throw cupcakes and just cake at everyone you can." <laughs> Sign me up. That would be freaking fun. So with camera camera movements, uh, this one in particular that I saw, uh, there's a natural shake to it. And so they could just grab the camera and hand hold it. And in that case, when some, it's, it's usually in action scenes, you'll see it. There's just a lot of intense movements and stuff like this. It gives a sense of like uneasiness or just action in general and just things are happening. But what really got me was the girl putting on the, uh, putting on the chocolates. <laughs> that is awesome this is just like taking me back to like dodgeball days <laughs> it was always the best day whenever the teachers were like hey uh we're gonna go play dodgeball and it was just like oh game on we have this empty space over on the left side because uh with framing like this we know the subject is trying to get to an end goal and that end goal is we know located on the left side so we want to see more of this left side and see what all's going on obviously on this right side we don't see much going on because all the actions happening over here so uh that's why this framing is like this but the slow motion is awesome so again probably shoot we're shooting at a higher frame rate and we're bringing that down to the 24 frames, uh, I'm assuming is what is 24 frames because the movements I've been seeing have been very cinematic and stuff. So uh, we'll default to 24 frames. So maybe 60 frames, maybe even 120 because this is pretty slow motion. So um, bringing this down to that 24, that's how they're achieving this. But uh, this is just awesome. And I loved the rack focus right here that we had. So by rack focus, I mean, we see right here, the subject is in focus, and then we, there's that slight camera movement down, and while the camera is moving down, the focus of the lens is going directly to the the um, the next subject, which we see is an empty uh, Tupperware thing. So. <laughs> Oh. 
It's like I pay for it. It's like I pay for it. I'm gonna pay for this. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this is freaking awesome. I was I wasn't expecting to see him in this. <laughs> this is hilarious. Is he like the backup? <laughs> this has to be. He's wearing it looks like he's wearing the same thing. I don't know. was like a grenade oh man <laughs> oh no oh no oh this frame right here oh this is just this is gold <laughs> this is freaking hilarious <laughs> oh man uh there uh, the way that this is filmed is just awesome i'm loving these natural camera movements there's not a lot of smooth gimbal movements going on uh obviously like i said earlier to give that uneasiness and just action um this is just this scene right here um what is that oh i i would put money on that cupcake being like cherry flavored like cherry bomb or something <laughs> i love how she like took a bite out of the top of it and then threw it like it's a grenade <laughs> uh we see the cupcake over here go like way over to the left side and this explosion go from the center of the two two chairs which by the way those chairs i know exactly I'm pretty sure I've sat on those exact chairs before. <laughs> I know that like hard plastic, oh, they were so uncomfortable after a certain amount of time. <laughs> um, but this explosion just was like a rigged up system that they, obviously the kids are like all behind it. Uh, there's none other other than these two that are in, like behind the chairs. So this little explosion was kind of just a, a trigger. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I truly liked that song. So Harry Styles, again, you are making it onto my Spotify playlist. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time.